Unit B in Excel covers formulas and functions. This demonstration is going to show you how to create complex formulas. In this spreadsheet here, I'm going to select a range. I'm going to click here in B4, hold down my mouse and drag to B11. Once I let go of my mouse, you'll see I have a quick access button that appears. I'm going to click on the quick access button and this is going to show me information that's typically chosen. From here I'm going to select the, to the totals tab. When I select totals it gives me several different options here that I can choose from and if you'll notice totals changes on my spreadsheet as I point to each one of them. I'm going to click the auto sum button and it gives me the sum in B12. From here I can click into B12 and I can bring this formula all the way across by simply clicking here in the lower right quadrant and dragging my mouse over. This copied the cell formula into each corresponding cell and changing the information inside the cell. I can now click inside of B14. I'm going to type equals. From there I can click on B12 and it puts the cell reference. I'm going to put the plus sign because I want to add. This first part of it gives me the reference to the total expenses for quarter one. Now that I've said plus, I can click again on B12. This time I'm going to do asterisk 0.2 and this is going to give me a 20% increase. Then I'm going to hit the enter button here and it totals it out and gives me the information I'm looking for. I can hit my tab key and I can do this all over again. Or I can drag the fill handle throughout the cells to get the information I need as well. So I'm going to drag this information across and it carries the function across for me. Make sure that you're continually saving your worksheet so that you don't lose the hard work that you've put in. Now I'm going to insert a function. I'm going to click inside a cell B15. Here I'm going to click the insert function button. That is this button right up here at the top. It says insert function. I'm going to click on it one time. It brings up the insert function dialog box. From here I'm going to click average where it says select a function. And you'll notice it gives me information below as to what that function is going to do. I'm going to click OK. Then from here it's going to ask me what do I want to average. Right now I have B14 listed in the number one field. What I need to do here is I want to select ranges B4 through B11. In order to do this I'm going to collapse the box. I'm going to highlight B4 through B11 and then I'm going to expand the box. You'll see that it's given me the information I need here. Now I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click inside a cell C15. This time I'm going to click the auto sum list arrow. This is the auto sum. When I click the down arrow here, you see sum, average, count, max, min, and more. What I want here is I want to select average. Then I'm going to select my range that I want the average to be done for and I'm going to click the enter button. Both functions work the same. Then I'm just going to copy the cell references over so that the averages appear in both. Remember, save your work. Now I'm going to type a function in. I'm going to click inside of cell B16. I'm going to type the equal mark. Then I'm going to type an M. And you will notice that it brings up various functions 
that begin with the letter M. I'm going to select Max, then I'm going to double click Max, and it's going to ask for a cell reference. I'll select B4 through B11, and then I'll click the Enter key. This tells me which is my max number. Inside of cell B17, I'm going to hit equals the M again to bring up my function list. This time I want the minimum number. So I select MIM and double click it. Then I highlight the range B4 through B11. Click the enter button and this gives me the minimum cell reference. In order to copy this function across through my various cells, once again, we are going to grab the cell handle and copy this function into each of the corresponding cells. Remember, save your work.